So Gorilla Glass 4 is the latest glass from Corning in their whole Gorilla series of glass offering a higher drop resistance and even scratch resistance to the phones equipped with them. Now with Gorilla Glass 4 launching in the end of 2015, we're only seeing a few devices come out with this technology. Now right here I have the Samsung Galaxy Alpha as well as the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and both of these feature the latest Corning Gorilla Glass 4 from the aforementioned company Corning. Now what is this? then how is it better than number three, two, and one? Well, number four can actually withstand about 80% of drops from one meter high, which is about pocket height, depending on how high you are. So if you accidentally go to put in, well, if you go to put it in your pocket and you accidentally drop it, chances are it will survive that. And that's really where most phones are broken when people miss their pockets or brush it off a table. And most tables aren't really more than a meter high. If they are, it's not that much higher. Now also to that one meter rating is on high hard and rough surfaces. So for example, if you're walking along a gravel path and you do drop your phone, there's going to be little stones and stuff that if your phone falls face first onto it, it'll actually go ahead and break the display. If it's a flat and smooth surface, say a uh, concrete, a smooth concrete, or maybe a tile surface, it, the rating goes up to about 50% at two meters. So it's quite strong there. Now to actually show you guys in a real world situation how strong it is, I'm not actually going to go and break a piece of glass because that's completely pointless, but the iPhone 4 right here that I have been using for quite a while before I got into the Android side, I went ahead and took the screen protector off for one week. I got a bunch of micro scratches within the first day and a major scratch on the screen within about three days. Now I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Alpha for almost a full week now and I can say I have zero micro scratches and zero major scratches making this a lot better display to look at over time. Now also too, this will definitely apply to the Samsung Note 4 and also one thing that I did forget to mention was well it'll keep your display looking a lot nicer so if you are a person who goes ahead and sells off your phone every year you can go ahead and say looks in mint condition in terms of display without having to compromise and put screen protectors on the device or anything along those lines so if you've got to this point in the video and you still have absolutely no idea what Gorilla Glass is well we'll do a quick quick tips kind of style explanation basically what it is is a piece of glass that has been treated specially to go ahead and withstand drops and scratches a lot better than just normal tepid glass which is found on something like the iPhone that I did mention before goes ahead and scratches a lot easier. Now Gorilla Glass or Corning in fact has gone ahead and released different iterations of this bringing out new stuff and Gorilla Glass 4 is the latest out and it offers a lot of good features. Now the only thing that's really stronger than Gorilla Glass 4 at the time of recording is Sapphire Crystal and quite frankly no one's using that on their phones so really this is the strongest glass you can get on your phone again at the time of recording. Now Apple was really to go ahead and use uh, some sapphire crystal on their latest iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but they went ahead and didn't because the company they paired with went bankrupt and all these other things. But my point being, no one else is really doing anything better than Corning at the time of recording. Now, also, to another category that we haven't really mentioned apart from phones is wearables. Now, many wearables will sit on your wrist out in harm's way, being knocked around and stuff. And I can tell you now, having Gorilla Glass 3 on this uh, smartwatch, the LG G Watch, has been really good good. It's scratched a little bit, but it's definitely performed a lot better than just a standard piece of tepid glass. If we were going to go ahead and chuck Gorilla Glass 4 on that, I would say that the kind of micro scratches that are on the device probably wouldn't even be there at all. And those major scratches would have just turned into micro scratches. So definitely the wearable tech space will definitely benefit from this newer technology in glass because of the fact they're really in a dangerous position out there on your wrist, not in any kind of soft pocket or anything along those lines. Now, at this point, I can't really say that much more because we only really have two or three phones on the market at this point in time that actually feature this technology, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha and the Note 4. Four. So until this becomes more popular throughout 2014, these are the only two that you can get it on. And if you sort of want to be first to the party, you can pick up one of these phones. Other than that, guys, give us a like or dislike according to what you think of Gorilla Glass 4. And let me know down below whether you think we'll get to a point or when will we get to a point when you can get a hammer and smack the front of a phone and something else in the phone breaks that isn't the sheet of glass on their front. Other than that, guys, give us a sub while you're down there. And don't forget to check out cpmoto.com where we publish some pretty cool articles. Articles, and I'll see you guys later for another video.